That's a nice one. Sick, I'm coming. Screw this. No way, keep him on, don't lose him then. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh my god! Let's go, dude! Dude, dude that's oh actually a nice gosh. one. Oh my gosh, there's like 30 of them out there. I broke your rod, bro. It's okay, man, it's got warranty. Oh my gosh! That's sick. Dude. Today, we're chasing bull trout. These native trout live in some of the most beautiful places, requiring the cleanest and coldest water to survive. Capable of reaching massive sizes and being highly aggressive, it's something I've always dreamed of experiencing. When it comes to bull trout, the real adventure is just finding them. Good bull trout streams are closely guarded secrets and for good reason, and I wouldn't have it any other way. We quickly realized if we wanted to catch these fish, we just needed to make a trip up there and figure it out. And that's exactly what we did. Now this is like an after work kind of trip, so we're cruising up super late. We're probably not going to get there till 1. Um, and there's also a hot spring I want to hit on the way up. So we're going to stop at that, then we're going to head to bed, wake up, and hopefully in the morning we can find some bull trout. I know nothing about bull trout, but we're going to do the best we can, and if not, hopefully we get some nice cuts. So, yeah, stay tuned. They got in a lot earlier than we did last night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I woke up early. I already got on the river. Yeah, he's already got some fish. Yep, caught two cutthroats and a rainbow, but they're all pretty small, maybe yeah. like four or five inches. So yeah, we're parked next to this little creek right down there. Um, but yeah, let's go find something bigger. See if we can get some bullies. Heck yeah, dude. Gotta get some breakfast first. Yep. So we woke up um, fairly late this morning because we got in so late last night and we tried one spot already. It's kind of a bust. We got into some like small rainbows, um, one cutthroat. But Tate found this killer river right here. <laughs> and he is excited. We're hoping that there might be some bull trout in here. Um, so we'll see what happens. I'm throwing on the six weights. Uh, I'm gonna rock the streamer rig, so. It's gonna have fish. <laughs> this is Tate's spot, so we'll see how it goes. Tate doesn't have the best track record for finding spots, so. Hey. <laughs> Fish on! I don't know what he is yet. Oh, uh, he looks like a rainbow. Oh, and he's off. Dang! I don't think that was a bull trout. Looks like a rainbow. But who knows? This stream is so pretty. Well, at least now I know there's fish in here. Fish on. It's putting up a hell of a fight. Let's see, what kind of fish is he? Well, just a dinky rainbow. No way. I think that's a bull trout. Yo, that's a bull trout! Alright guys, I just caught my first ever bull trout. He is so pretty. Check this bad boy out. He's not very big, but it's my first bull trout. And we'll let him go. You don't want to keep them out of the water for too long. Um, they are very sensitive creatures. So, yeah, let's see if we can find a bigger one. Alright dude, guess what? What? I got one, bro. No way. Yup. I caught him in some, uh, it was like the tail out of a little bit deeper pool in like a shallow spot. Now that we know for sure that this river has bull trout, we decided to move up river in search of some deeper pools and hopefully some larger bull trout. Oh, I got one. Oh, he got off. Got one. I think that's a bully. It's not very big though. 
We just seem to be getting all the juveniles. Oh, he's, he's off. Dang it. <sighs> the setup I'm using in this video is the Nirvana Moksha in a six weight with a Lampson liquid reel and a Scientific Angler's Amplitude fly line. If you guys want to check any of this out, I'll have links in the description as well as a discount link for the Nirvana Moksha fly rod. Yo, I think that's another one. I think I got another bowl. Fish on, baby. Tate, I think this is a bull trout. Tate, got a bull trout. Yep, that's a bull trout. Hell yeah. Dude, let's go. Nice job. That's actually one that's like semi worth yeah. talking about. Sick, I'm coming. Screw this. No way, keep him on, don't lose him then. Hui! Did you get him? I got I got I can net him, I can net him, I can net him. Oh my god! Let's go, dude! Dude, dude that's oh actually a nice gosh. one. Oh my gosh! There's like 30 of them out there. Seriously. Oh dude. Oh, ho, ho. I broke your rod, it's bro. It's okay, man. It's got warranty. Oh my gosh. That's sick. Dude. Oh my gosh. Fist bump it right here, dude. Oh, dude. that's so sick. Dude, I just dropped off this thing. <laughs> Did you see that? Did you hear the rod? I heard the rod, the rod break. break? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude. Dang. I I'm like shaking right now. <laughs> I haven't been that excited about a fish in a long time. Dude. That's a gone. nice fish, bro. Yeah, but I broke your rod, dude. Dude, it's okay. You fought so hard. It's got a warranty. Dude, I am like shaking right now. <laughs> this fish just broke Dallin's rod. I felt bad. He's like, here, give it a couple casts. So I <laughs> came up around this bend and was fishing under the bridge. That's a nice dude. fish. <laughs> That's a nice one. All right, we'll let him go. Nice, Holy Tate. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> I, I've never been that much, that excited for a fish before. <laughs> hey guys, real quick, I wanted to give a shout out to this rod company. Um, I haven't even finished editing this video yet, and they've already sent me the replacements for the rod that broke. I emailed them about it on Monday, and they just showed up today, which is Wednesday. Um, super awesome warranty. I didn't even have to send the rod back, which is really nice, because a lot of companies make you send the rod back. Um, but they just sent me the pieces that broke. So yeah, got them right here, and now I'm all ready to hit the river again. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and if you guys do want to check out these rods, um, I've got a discount link in the description for all Moonlit and Nirvana rods, um, and it should save you about 50% off at checkout. So yeah, let's get back to the video. What's up? Peace. Tate broke the rod on a huge fish. I jumped off a bridge to go net the fish for him. He broke my rod. My Moonlit 6 weight or the Nirvana 6 or Moksha 6 weight. But fiberglass is harder to break. I said fiberglass is harder to break. You had one. With the excitement level high and the sun starting to set, we tried to pull out one more bull trout before it got too dark. 
but after a couple follows and a mistook set, the bull trout bite seemed to have died down. We may not have been able to find one of those 20 inch bull trout, but we were able to get a taste of how addicting chasing bull trout can be. Trips like this with minimal planning and not knowing what to expect are what I consider to be a true adventure. We already have another trip planned to chase some bull trout, so if you enjoyed this video, stay tuned for the next one, and thanks for watching.